Hello everybody, welcome back to my walkthrough. Um, yesterday we basically went over everything about Dark Souls and how to use it, and we got through the tutorial. Um, so now we're going to continue through Firelink. Hopefully the walkthrough can progress a little bit quicker now that we know how to use the game. Uh, I'm going to focus more on combat stats um, from now on. But yeah, so just to give you a quick rundown, um, we broke out the asylum, we fought the first boss, and now we're here at Firelink. Here we can level up. Um, right now we can't level up any further. We've already used up all our souls, and we have 13 vitality and 13 endurance. We're trying to get those both up to 20, so we can have a decent health pool and uh, stamina pool for the early game. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk to the Crestfallen Warrior. Um, this guy has a lot of dialogue, and he's only going to say it once, and he's not going to repeat it. Uh, this dialogue is very helpful uh, for the game, so if you are you know, going to be doing this blind, or um, or you're really interested in what he has to say, make sure you listen to this, because he will not say it again. But I'm just going to go through it real quick. So yeah, so that's all of it. Um, it's a lot to unpack. So basically he tells us that, oh, welcome here to the Firelink Shrine. You think you're the chosen undead? Well, you're not the first. And basically this whole prophecy that we've been told by Oscar is a lie almost that, you know, there's so many people that come here thinking that they're the chosen undead. And on top of that, another lie that we find is that there's actually two bells of awakening. So um, we thought there was just one that we had to ring. Well, there's actually two. One is all the way up there uh, in Undead Berg or Undead Parish, and one is down below us in Blight Town. Um, and so we have to ring both, and we still don't really know what happens when we ring both. He doesn't know, and nobody really knows. Uh, but yeah, he says, um, yeah, although we've been lied to, we're probably not gonna, we're just gonna keep on with our journey, and uh, we'll see how we go. And basically what this guy is, his whole thing is that he was like us at one point. Um, he wanted to do his quests and everything, but you know, with all these lies and seeing how uh, the prophecy basically um, didn't really make sense and didn't seem to be true, he kind of gave up and just sits here and is sort of like dejected all the time. But we're going to keep talking to him. Um, he sort of tells us to to uh, to uh, restore our humanity. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. We don't really need to. And we'll keep going. He tells us how we can get humanity. Um... The quickest way to do that is to kill uh, other humans, so we could kill him and get his humanity, but I would highly suggest not to do that right now, because he is very tough to fight, especially in the early game, and uh, and yeah, so we'll continue. So he tells us not to even try to attack him. So yeah, so there he explains a little bit more about what's going on. He says that uh, in order to get to Undead Parish, we have to take the elevator. However, that elevator is broken, so we have to go the back route, which is uh, that way, up here. And same thing with Blight Town. Um, he says, good luck. You know, he doesn't even want to step foot in there. Uh, it's horrible. It's uh, Blight Town. So yeah. Bloody you. And then at this point, he's not going to tell us anything else. So yeah, we'll go ahead and continue. We're to come over here uh, on your first right there's gonna be a couple fire bombs it's gonna be very important for us to get they're a great way to hit people from afar uh, what we're gonna do real quick is go into our change equipment this is basically our hot bar right here we have the Estus and humanity we're gonna go ahead and equip the fire bombs and we could cycle through our hot bar um, by plus pressing down on the d-pad or whatever button the tutorial message told you to do and then uh, we can use the items by pressing square. So to use our S's, square, and same for all of these other items. But yeah. We're going to come over here. So this is Petrus. This is another NPC that's in Firelink right now. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hello there. I am Petrus. If not. So he's basically told us to go away. Uh, but if we keep talking to him, he'll give us some information. Hello. I realize. But I also hear. No. And that token of peace, the copper coin, is actually uh, a useless item. It doesn't really do anything. You can sell it for a thousand souls. And at the point that you can sell it, a thousand souls isn't really that much. So, it's, yeah, it's effectively useless. Oh, my. Oh, I have to await. So what if I would put that? So he's offering to teach us miracles. We're just going to say yes. Very well. And then he's asking us to join the covenant that he's in. Uh, we're just going to say yes. This is going to give us an achievement. 
um, if this is your first time playing through the game. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and say yes. And there we go. And we can learn his gesture now, so we're gonna do that. The shrug. Uh, we're already in his covenant, so we cannot join it. However, if we leave at any point and you really want to join the Way of White covenant again, you can just come to him and talk to him. Uh, you can also just do it at a bonfire. That's just one of the perks of the remastered. Uh, so yeah, no real need to ever use this part. Um, otherwise, you can purchase miracles here if you are doing a miracle build. Um, something to note is none of these miracles do any offensive damage. So if you are a miracle build, I suggest that you start you keep using your weapon. Um, because none of these are really going to damage the, the enemies nearby for the time being. And right here we have Talisman. Um, so once again, if you're a Miracle build, these are what you're going to use to cast your Miracles. And you would just equip these Miracles uh, in this slot right here that I'm triggering right now. But yeah, since we're not a, a spell casting build, we're not going to be worrying about that at all. I just want to explain that for anybody out there that's doing a Miracle build. And really, any spell casting build, you just put the spells right here. But yeah. Oh, I... Now, if we talk to him, My are we are her... he basically tells us that he's waiting for some people. Uh, he's not really going to tell us what's going on with that. Uh, we can pay him money, and he would tell us, um, or we can just wait for another NPC to come around, and he'll tell us for free. So we're not going to worry about him anymore. We're just going to keep going. Or come up here. I believe this is a soul item. Yeah. So we got a soul of a lost undead now we're gonna come down here we're just gonna drop down these holes uh, we're basically gonna rob Petrus now these are all his chests down here and um, there's a couple items it's not really confirmed that this is his stuff but uh, all these items are miracle items so yeah we're just gonna grab these these are homeward bones got the morning star and the talisman and the cracked red eye orbs. We come over here. We get Lloyd's talisman. So yeah, so what are these items? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look. So first the cracked red eye orb. Uh, this is a multiplayer item. So if you are playing offline, you're not really gonna be using these. Uh, they do allow you to invade someone else's world uh, and then you can fight them. So it's basically just the PVP item. Um, However, it does break if you do use it, so you are limited on how many times you can do this. So just make sure uh, you're absolutely certain that you want to invade, uh, because once you do it, it goes away and you can't get it back. So we have four of those. Um, we also have the Lloyd's Talisman. Uh, we could throw these just like you would throw a firebomb, uh, sort of demonstrate right now. They can be useful. Um, they stop people from using Estus. So you throw it just like that. And it throws up a big cloud, and uh, anybody within that cloud is not going to be able to use Estus. So yeah, um, that's the Lloyd's Talisman. Uh, then we have the Homeward Bone. Um, these are very important. We're going to be using these. In fact, we're going to equip them on our hotbar uh, right here. And just like that. In fact, uh, I'm going to switch the humanities with the Homeward Bones. So yeah, the Homeward Bones are basically uh, an item that when you use it, it takes you back to the bonfire you just rested at. So if I were to use this right now, it would take me back to Firelink. Um, however, we're super close and I don't want to waste that item. These are very useful items and you want to save, uh, save them. Uh, here's the copper coin. Uh, once again, a useless item. Uh, I believe we had a weapon. Yes, so the Morning Star. This is a cleric weapon that we got. Um, we can use it right now. If you press square, it opens up a little bit more of a detailed window of the weapon. So right here, it tells us that we need 11 strength to wield it, and we have 13, so we're more than ready. Uh, this is a good weapon, and in fact, it does more damage than our longsword right now. If you look at physical attack, we do 80 plus 12. This one does 83 plus 9. Uh, however, if we're looking at scaling, it actually does less, in fact. So we're going to keep using the longsword. Uh, you can use this weapon if you want. It also does bleed damage. If you look at the auxiliary effects at the bottom, it does 300 bleed damage per hit. Um, bleed's kind of a complicated, it's a status effect, so um, it's kind of complicated to understand. I'll explain it whenever we fight some enemies that do bleed on us. Uh, other than that, we have a talisman, so you don't have to buy one from Petrus if you're a miracle build. You can just get one right here. 
Uh, as for lore, it's kind of weird that uh, um, a cleric who is a follower of the Way of Light would have red eye, a cracked red eye orb right here. Um, those are actually taboo items, and humans are not supposed to use those. Uh, so for a priest to be using that, it's kind of weird that Petrus would have them. But we'll sort of expand on that later. Even the Lloyd's talisman is kind of weird for him. But um, uh, since Lloyd's kind of a PvP uh, item, however, clerics do use those as they do hunt undead people. But yeah, so now we're going to come down here. We're just going to go back to the bonfire for now. We're not going to worry about these skeletons. There's a little bit of a route we can take. We can get an extra item. It is a little dangerous. Uh, if you don't want to take it, you can just go back down these stairs. And you can go back to Firelink. Otherwise, you're going to come over here, and then you're going to come down here. Oh, oh, I missed the item. Oh, it's right there. Uh, it's just a soul item. Oh, and I died. <laughs> uh, in fact, we just fell down to Blight Town, it looks like. But yeah, so uh, I didn't really lose any souls or anything, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll go back and get that soul item, though, so um, I'll show you where it's at again. If you do die in Firelink, that's okay. You're just going to spawn back right over here. So we can come over here. This is where Petrus was, right? And then so we just come back. We have this area right here where there's like standing water. Um, there's a little statue over here. It's just a woman with the sun. Uh, we also have a chest. Uh, I believe this is a multiplayer item or multiplayer uh, mechanic where if you lose items uh, or I guess like it's not multiplayer. If you just lose any items or you drop a key item, it will spawn back here. So if you're carrying like a key that you need to unlock a door and you drop it and you lose it, uh, you can come back over here. It should spawn in there, from what I understand at least. But yeah, here we we can recover my souls I lost, and we can pillage my cor or this corpse, get a soul item. If you weren't uh, if you weren't like me and you didn't die, basically what would happen is you drop right here. You're gonna run this way just like how I'm doing, and then you come back and there's Firelink, and then you can go rest. But yeah, so we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna go back into the graveyard. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a death run. Uh, this is very dangerous. There's a high chance that you'll die because these skeletons, they're very tough right now, and uh, they respawn when we kill them. So they're gonna come back to life after a couple seconds, so there's really no point in trying to fight them. Uh, so what, what we're going to do is we're going to run, we're going to try and grab all these items that are in the graveyard. You don't really need to do this, I'm just doing it just to grab them. Uh, there are a couple soul items I believe, uh, so that item right there is a soul item. You might want to grab that, it does give you souls. There's also a Zweihander uh, in the back, the binoculars are over here, and there's a wing spear. Zweihander is a strength weapon, and the spear is a spear, so if you want to grab those weapons you can, uh, otherwise you don't have to do this part. But we're going to come down here, grab this item, we're going to run this way. There is a shield over here. I'm just going to ignore it because it's not really that useful of a shield. Uh, plus, we already have the heater shield. We're come right here. Oh, I guess there's another soul item. And then we're going to come this way. We're not going to go down those stairs. We're going to come over here and grab, grab this Y. There it is. Gonna, then we're going to run this way, grab the binoculars. Now, this is the dangerous part, because we're getting boxed in, as you can see. We're going to try and come up this way. Oh, there we go. Come up this way. Uh, might want to heal, I'm just going to wing it. Gonna grab the spear. Oh, I went the wrong way, but that's okay. Then we're just going to run back up the stairs. We're gonna run right back to Firelink. Uh, I'll show you another way to get back there. Try not to go up those stairs. It's gonna take you uh, up on the balcony area or a ledge. Just come down here, run back this way, and we're back to safety. Um, sometimes the skeletons follow you. If they do, you won't be able to sit at the bonfire. You'll have to kill the skeleton before you can do that. So here are some coming right now. So look, I can't sit at the bonfire at all. Uh, and I guess they don't want to come in here, they're kind of walking away. Once you sit at the bonfire, not only do all the dead enemies respawn, but those skeletons will be reset to their uh, original spawn points. So they're not going to be over there anymore. 
And so yeah, so that's all we need from over there. Uh, like I said, there's also a shield item that I didn't grab. I, we really don't need it. Uh, instead, we're just going to come down here. There's the fire keeper. She's basically the person that keeps that uh, fire above us lit. We could try to talk to her, but she cannot speak to us. And if we try to talk, she doesn't speak. Uh, we can reinforce our Estus flask here. Doing that essentially levels up our Estus um, to where every time we heal, it does more health. Or it recovers more health. And that's very useful. So what we're going to do now is go down to New Londo and grab an item that allows us to uh, level up our uh, Estus flask. You're going to come down here. We're going to take this elevator down. Now you don't have to do this. Uh, what I'm about to do is very complicated. Uh, I'll let you know when I'm getting to the complicated part. But uh, it's really just for advanced players or if you're feeling very confident. Uh, otherwise there's a high likelihood you'll die if you uh, mess things up. But yeah. Come over here, grab this soul. Run down here. We're going to talk to another NPC. There's a bunch of hollows down here, but they're just ignoring us. They're uh, kind of depressed. And this one's kind of lounging. So we're just going to walk down here. And we have a blacksmith. So this is Rickett. Let's keep talking to him. So yeah, so we can reinforce our weapon here. Or we can modify. Of course, we... Uh, can't really do that right now. We really can't do anything with this right now. We don't need to worry about any of these things. If you are a sorcerer build, however, uh, he might be important for the early game for you. You can buy two sorceries from him and a catalyst, which allows you to cast sorceries. Uh, we don't need that, of course, if we're going for a quality build. Uh, oh, yeah, that's just right there. We can talk to him. Boy, there's nothing. We're both cursed. Yeah, so he, he doesn't really want to talk to us. He's kind of... Uh, he he's sort of trapped in here but uh he kind of put himself in here he doesn't want to come out he likes being in there because he's safe so uh he doesn't really want to talk to us he wants nothing to do with with this world and he's kind of chilling there but anyways because we have the master key we can come over here now when we do come back through new game uh we're actually going to go through the valley of the drakes for now we're just going to grab this item right here it's a lot of souls uh it's a really nice item to have early game so come back down, and now we're getting more to the advanced part. So first we're going to come over here, we're going to grab this weapon, the S-Stock. Uh, it's a decent dexterity weapon. Uh, if you'd like it, uh, use it, just to showcase it. So it scales, if you look at the scaling bonus, or parameter bonus, it has a C for the dexterity, where it has the hand, and a D for the uh, flexing bicep so that basically shows it, it it scales better in dexterity so if you do use this weapon um basically goes like that it's like a little pokey pokey stick right uh you might want to level up dexterity over strength if you're doing that uh something like this is y hander as you can see it requires 24 strength 10 dexterity uh, and right now it scales higher in strength and this is definitely a strength weapon so it's very big. Um, this is a classic weapon. A lot of people use this. Uh, it's really good for PvP, I guess. Um, it's kind of toxic, actually, but uh, we'll get into that later. The Swing Spear, too, it's also uh, scales very well with dexterity, but it's not really that good of a weapon. I wouldn't recommend using any of these two weapons. If you do want to use the S-Stock or the Y-Hander, uh, they're, they're excellent weapons. Um, you'll do fine in them. We're going to ignore this item in this pot. Uh, we're just, we don't really need it across this bridge we're gonna go into the new londo ruins now there's ghosts here and these ghosts we cannot hit them right now if we try to swing at them it's literally just the blades gonna go right through their body uh, because they're ghosts so we just want to ignore them here comes one of them they do very long range attacks so try to get far as way as far as way as you can and then we're gonna run across this rickety bridge right here grab the firekeeper soul run to this corner and use the homeward bone. And there we go. That's the death run right there. Uh, we got the firekeeper soul, and that's what we can use uh, to reinforce our Estus. If you're really dead set on uh, doing that strategy, I would recommend 
uh, replaying the video a couple of times, watch what I do, watch where I go, uh, because you really do need to be quick. Those ghosts are going to come up right on you. They have long range attacks, so they can hit you from far away, and they can kill you really easily. Uh, if you do get the item and you do die, well, you still got the item. You're just going to spawn back over here. Uh, probably not going to lose that many souls if you leveled up like I did. And then you can just come down here. Now we can use the fire keeper. So we click reinforce, we say yes, and we have our Estus reinforce. If you look at the bottom, it says Estus Flask plus one. That's uh, showing us that it's been reinforced to level one. We can do this a couple of times, and by the late game, we're gonna have pretty strong healing powers. Powers. Uh, we'll be pretty overpowered, so yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't watch the previous video, we grabbed three humanities right here. Uh, those humanities are pretty important. Um, so make sure you grab this if you didn't. So now we're going to come over here. And we're going to have some enemies now. Uh, that one at the very back, not up on the stairs, but at the bottom of the stairs, is going to be throwing firebombs at us. So we don't want to get too close to him. We're going to lower these enemies out, just like this. So you want to be at a distance from them. Let them swing. If they hit your shield, just make sure you're blocking. You see right there, it sort of backed away. And then I come in and swing. Now we're gonna come up here first. So as you can see, he's gonna start throwing firebombs. We're gonna run past him, get this guy. He's wielding a different weapon that we haven't seen yet, battle axe. So he does take longer in between his swings. Um, so here, here comes the fire bomb thrower. We're just gonna kill him. And then we have this guy right here. He might do a jumping attack. He likes to jump a lot. I guess this time he's not gonna do that. Then we can kill him. Uh, if you want to be cheeky, you can plunge attack him. I'll try that right now. Otherwise, if you want to be safe, just go back down there, fight him. He is a little bit tougher. He's the hollow soldier. He's not just a hollow warrior, I think these guys are called. But yeah, so he's a little bit tougher. Just be careful with him. Um, you can parry him, uh, or you can do this. Nope, and it didn't really do anything. So he kind of blocked all that damage. But we can just fight him just like how we did the others. Grab the soul item. Now, if you remember, um, in the previous video, we set jump to L3. So if we're running and press L3, we jump. Now, you have to be running. So if you're walking and press L3, nothing's going to happen. I'm mashing L3 right now, and of course, I'm not jumping. So make sure you're running. And you run by holding O. We're going to run and jump right here. So just like that, we jump across. We're going to get an item. It's kind of scary. You're just going to walk like this. You want to walk... Whenever you're walking on a ledge, you saw me do it earlier in Firelink, you're going to try and walk into the building a little bit. That way it sort of minimizes the risk of falling off. Now we got the Ring of Sacrifice. So this is the first ring item that we got. If we come down here to rings, we can equip it. Uh, and it says right there, lose nothing upon death, but the ring breaks. So we don't want to do that right now because we might die right now. We're not really carrying that many valuable items. We only have 400 souls and no humanity. Uh, or I should say soft humanity, which is that counter in the top left corner. Uh, we don't really have any, so there's no reason to put that ring on. Uh, and this is also not really that dangerous of a place. But if you're in a very dangerous place and you have a feeling you're going to die and you don't want to lose everything, just equip that ring. Uh, and if you die, you'll respawn at the bonfire and all your souls and soft humanity will be preserved. But yeah, we'll come up here. We're not going to go into the waterway just yet. We're just going to pillage this corpse for another soul item, uh, just to sort of show. These soul items really pile up. So we have four, two, one, one, and this, these two are gonna give us a lot of souls. So it's really good to grab these. They might seem uh, unimportant, but they really do come in handy. We're gonna be using them later. Now we come here, we're gonna two-hand our weapon and fight this rat. Just like that. And why do I two-hand? Well, if you're using the long sword like me and you're one-handing, you have this problem where we're in a tight space and our attacks are very wide horizontally, right? And so a lot of times we can miss our target because we are clanging up against the wall. When we two hand, we get a different moveset and it's a lot more vertical. And even though I hit the wall right there, it's still finishing the an animation. So try to use a two hand. Uh, if you're using this long sword, try to use two handed um, whenever you're in a tight space like this. We're going to grab the soul item, run all the way down the waterway. 
I guess we're taking this rat with us too. There we go. And right here, this door is locked. We're not going to be able to get to this door just yet. So we're going to come up here. Come up these stairs. And here we are in Undeadburg. And this guy's going to come at us right away. So we're just going to... Oh, missed the backstab. We're just going to take out these two guys. They're going to be pretty aggro as soon as we come up here. Um, it's good to fight them in this area. There's a guy right around the corner that throws firebombs. And uh, it's kind of hard to fight him. Or it's kind of hard to fight these two guys while someone's chucking firebombs at you. So it's good to fight him here. But yeah, so where are we? Uh, we're, we crossed the wall. Um, cross the wall. Uh, across that wall is Firelink. So if we go back down here. And go back in here. As you can see, this, this takes us. We're going past the wall right now. We're back at Firelink. See, there's the wall. We just gone across it, right? So we're sort of inside the the city now, um, and the city is called Undead Berg uh, because there's just everyone here is undead. They're all a bunch of hollows. We're gonna have to fight our way through the city. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that till next video. Uh, hopefully this video is helpful in you and just getting through Firelink. Um, like I said, there's a couple suicide runs that we did. You don't have to do either of them. Uh, the SS Flash is. If you are going to do one of them, I recommend doing the SS Flask one. It's very helpful for the early game. You can heal a lot of health with it. But yeah, you don't have to do any of them if you don't feel like doing it. But yeah, we'll go ahead and do Undeadberg in the next video. Until then, uh, take care, and I'll see y'all guys later.